All right, before I say anything, can we just take this prayer point? A prayer that brings permanent solution to our problem. Listen to the prayer. It says, the inspiration that will enable me to break through in life overshadow my situation in the name of Jesus Christ. The inspiration that will make me to break through overshadow me right now. Pray this prayer with anger in you, like a man or a woman from another world. Repeat it daily to yourself. It has spiritual backup, which I will not tell you now, because you need something that will catapult you from that place you are to the realm of the spirit. When you begin to operate in the realm of the spirit, it will shock even your worst enemy. And you say this to yourself again, I can do and possess all things through Christ who strengthens me. According to the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 20. Yes. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Please. Be careful. The battle that we are in is not, of, it's not, of, it's not, it's not ours to fight for ourselves. But God will fight for us. Who is that human being? That will continue to say a word concerning you and he come to pass. Mm. I, I told you that there is a word in the Bible according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. <laughs> that he provide, that he supply God, supply all our needs, our needs according to his riches in glory. The person who can own the whole world, remember he is very rich. All the rich of the riches belongs to him. And he said something to Solomon. He said, the blessing I will give to you, no man has ever gotten that kind of blessing. So anytime you pray, you say, oh Lord, bless me. Because do you know why some of you are not blessed? That is the only two reasons why some of you are not blessed. God read your heart. If I should give money to this person, what is he going to do? Number one, you are thinking of how you will have that money to intimidate others. You said, hey, they have done this to me. They have done that to me. They did this, they did that. Then when I have the money, I will pay back. You will not have. Let's be sincere to ourselves. You will not have. When you have the money, you will pay back. You will not have. Listen to reasons why some of us are not blessed. Some people are not blessed. And some God says that you should remember those that are are, are left are, are, are poor among you. The least privileged among you. It says to, to the people that when I was sick in the hospital, do you visit me? They say, Lord, are you, have you ever been hospitalized? Those that are looking forward, that they are begging you for help along the road. You don't know if you can indirectly entertain angels. Remember that the Bible says we should be wise. We should be wise. Yes. You can entertain angels while on the road, while in your house, while in your car. There's a scenario that happened. A man, which is, is a pastor with his wife, they were moving along the road. And God want to use something to help him. Guess what happened? He as he's going along the road, a widow who has two kids suffering met him inside his car at the hold up. I said, please sir, help us. We are dying of hunger. My husband died and leave us. Please, I know you must be a pastor, sir. Help us. 
He just said, get out. Move away from here. You, you, you wretched poor. See the witch is smelling. When they move from that spot to another hold up, on the traffic hold up on the road again, the woman still comes there. You know what happened to that man? He's under test. As the, the woman come there back there and seek for help, say, please, ma, even you and the woman had deep hand inside her back. I gave her a token and Suma was so happy. He said, at least we can buy pap to take. When this man went home that night, the spirit of death visited him. He died. And when he died, his body was so hot. And the wife said, please don't bury my husband yet. Let the pastors pray for him. I knew he would come back alive when they started prayer. He was on coma he was on coma for almost four hours when he came back. And that is when he was saying that yes, that at times we can enter test because I did not give that woman money. Because I could not help the poor. I have shot my ear against the cry of the poor. So God has warned me that I should bring back the message to the world. Please, it's the same message I'm delivering to you right now. You that you are watching me. Be careful. Let's note your situation. Take away your mind. Try to be of help to others. Remember the widows, the orphan. They didn't make themselves orphan. As some widows did not kill their husband. It's God that called them to rest. Please be of help. Extend your happy hands to them. And God will bless you. God will open your way. And some help you give is not because you, 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 you want to give them, but it's a sacrifice for your life and the life of your children. Continue to give. God bless you. Remain blessed until we meet again. Please, as you are passing by, don't forget to subscribe. I love you.